from my Latinos post days of news reading. You're on Vandersloot to marry in Peru prison. Natalie Holloway murder suspect wedding in June. Written by me, Mary Lisa Johnson. First posted June 5th, 2013 at 9.16 a.m. Latinospost.com. Jan van der Sloot, a key suspect in the disappearance and death of Alabama teen Natalie Holloway and the convicted killer of a young Peruvian woman, is preparing to wed in the Peruvian prison where he is serving a 28-year sentence for murder. Maximo Altez, van der Sloot's lawyer, has confirmed his client's plans to marry his girlfriend, Lady Figur... F-I-G-U-E-R-O-A, Usida, in June. The couple are waiting on Peru's National Penitentiary Institute, I-N-P-E, to grant permission for the ceremony as they finish up paperwork related to the nuptials, according to the Herald Sun. Vandersloot, 25, and Usida, 23, would be married in a simple service held within the walls of the Piedras Gordas Maximum Security Prison, located just outside of Lima. The couple allegedly met when Usida was visiting another inmate at the prison. She began visiting Vandersloot regularly, and they struck up a romantic relationship. It was rumored in October that Usido was pregnant with Vandersloot's child, but this rumor was never confirmed. Vandersloot's current prison sentence in Peru stems from an incident that occurred five years to the day after Holloway's disappearance. In 2010, Vandersloot <clears throat> met 21-year-old Peruvian Stephanie Flores in a casino where the two were playing poker. Flores was later found dead in a hotel room registered under Vandersloot's name, according to various media reports. Vandersloot pled guilty to the quote-unquote cruel and savage murder of Flores and was sentenced to 28 years. He was also ordered to pay approximately $74,000 in damages to the Flores family, the Herald Sun reports. In 2005, Vandersloot became the prime suspect in the disappearance of 18-year-old Natalie Holloway in his native country of Aruba, where Holloway was vacationing on a trip with her high school. Vandersloot and two other men, brothers Deepak and Satish Kalpo, were the last people to see Holloway alive when the three of them left a nightclub with the girl in the early hours of May May 30th. Vandersloot was arrested twice in connection with Holloway's disappearance, but was never formally charged. Holloway was declared officially dead by a judge in 2012, and Vandersloot remains the chief suspect. Vandersloot traveled to Peru in 2010, the year that he killed Flores, to play poker in a tournament and funded the trip with $25,000 of the $250,000 that he attempted to extort from Holloway's parents in exchange for information on where the girl's body could be found, according to CNN. The information he gave turned out to be false, and a federal grand jury in Alabama indicted him on alleged extortion charges. According to various media reports, Vandersloot is, is scheduled to be extradited to the United States to face the extortion charges. AL.com reports that Peru's Supreme Court ruled that Vandersloot can be extradited to face a possible 25-year extortion sentence once he has finished serving his current sentence. There has been much speculation in both the Peruvian and American media that by marrying Usida, a Peruvian citizen, Vandersloot could avoid the extradition to the United States. His attorney denies these allegations, according to a report from the Huffington Post. Copyright 2015, Latinos Post.